In this video, I'll show you how you can make a website with Google Sites. Now, I'm going to give you a complete guide on using Google Sites as a beginner. I'll also give you some bonus websites that you can use, which will just help you make the best possible website inside of Google Sites. So first, let's go to Google and just go ahead and do a search here for Google Sites. Now, Google Sites is a free website builder and you'll find it by just going to Google Sites. It should then be the first one. You can open it and as long as you've got a Google account, it will then load up this window. Now, you won't have any recent sites if you haven't made any yet and you can now start to create from either templates or you can create a blank site and build one from scratch. Now, first, if you go ahead and click on the template gallery, it's then going to open more templates. You've got the default ones like portfolios, projects, events, and there are a couple of other useful ones that you can create with. I don't really use any of these to be honest, but if you just want a basic website and you want some template to go from, then these could work great for you. But what I do is I just create blank websites and build them from there. And I think it's important as a beginner to know all of the features about Google Sites so you can actually create here what you've got inside of your head. Because we're trying to create a website here that we've got in our head. We want to know all of the features of Google Sites so we can put our ideas into reality. So I'm going to go ahead and click on blank site. And if you're following along, then I highly recommend you do that as well. And if you've never created a website before, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know here. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and change the site document name. So if you've got a website about, let's say Thailand, go ahead and just change it and enter in your site name here. Now, once you change the document name, it's also gonna update the website name. So I'm gonna call this website Thailand Guide and we're gonna run with that for the video. We're on the homepage now and if you go ahead and go to header type, you can change this banner image. You can have a either a title, a banner, a large banner or a cover page. Now I like to go with small banners and I'm gonna show you where you can get images from here which are royalty free, which you can use without credit in anyone. So we're going to change the first page title here to Thailand guide. And once we do that, it's going to then bring up this window where we can choose the font. We can choose the sizing of the text. You can make it bold, italic, and so on. I'm going to change the font here to a more bold font. So we'll change it to Lato Black. Okay, so that looks good to me. And I'm also going to bring the sizing down a little bit to about 48. Now you can go ahead and stretch out this text and you can go ahead and recenter it. So if you click on the text here where this arrow tool appears, you can then move it wherever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and center this text. So this is looking okay for me. What we can do now is we can now start to add an image. So here where it says image, you can go ahead and upload any image. So I'm going to go ahead and grab an image of Thailand. Now bonus website number one, which you might find handy is going to be pexels.com. Now on here, you can find royalty free images, which you can use on your website completely for free. So I'm going to go ahead and search here for Thailand. And we're going to grab an image here of Thailand. We'll just grab this one of a beach. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and that will then download this into my downloads folder and we can head back to Google sites. We can click upload. And then if you head over to your downloads and click that image, it will then put that image onto the banner and kind of like change the effects so the text still stands out. So now you've got that all done, you can now go ahead and start adding media. Now Google Sites allows you to add elements with inside content blocks. So if you go to insert here on the right, you can add text, images, you can embed custom code and custom widgets. You can also embed and upload videos and media from Google Drive. Then scrolling down, we've got content blocks and content blocks are kind of like the placing of the media. So if we drag on this content block here because everything works in blocks and we can then upload media here we can add text here and also text here so this will be good for obviously showing a photo with text next to it now if we click on the plus icon we have more options we can add any of these widgets including youtube calendar or map you can also upload images videos and select images from your computer so again if you wanted to go ahead and grab an image from pexels you could do that and you can just go ahead and search for whatever fits your website now i'm going to go ahead and just embed a map. I think if I embed a map of Thailand, it might look good and we can use just this map feature. So we'll click map and any widget that you open, it's actually really simple to use. So with this map widget, we can just enter a location. So I'll enter in Thailand then click select and now it should add Thailand here. So there we go. Now for this header text, I'm going to change it to Thailand lovers. 
And I'll just write out a paragraph here explaining what this website is. Okay, so I've now wrote my title and we've wrote some text here. So I wrote this website for Thailand lovers. Here you will find information about all things Thailand food, entertainment, beaches, accommodation, and more. Any element really on here, you can go ahead and resize, you can move around. So if I wanted the map over here on the right, I could move that if I wanted it to, and for the sake of the video, we'll keep it here. I also might want to resize this so we can kind of make it level, so it just looks visually pleasing. As well as this here, I might wanna highlight this text and then center it. So if I click on these three dots, we can go to spacing or align, and we can make this centered. We can also do the same for this. So every element can be edited and you can go ahead and edit each individual element. So then under this, you might want to add more content blocks, which have been made by Google Sites. You can also add things like collapsible groups and you just click on these and this will be like for an FAQ. So you would write your point here, text, Thailand is dot 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 and this is kind of like an FAQ look and you just want to go through these you got contents you got image carousels you can add buttons to different pages or maybe you want to link to a product so if I click on button we can add a button name by this and you can then link to a URL so I'll just link to Google here then click insert and you can see how you can start to move each individual element and start to build out a decent looking website. If you just take your time and put in a little bit of thought, you've got here social links, YouTube, calendar, you can add in charts, and that's pretty much it for the individual elements. If you go to pages, you can add multiple pages. So right now we're editing the home page. If you wanted to add a new page, go to plus, and you can then add either a new menu selection, which is going to appear here on the top menu bar, or I can just go ahead and click on new page, and I'll call this contact us click done and you can see the contact us page has been born now we can do this exact same thing adding elements and adding different content blocks to the contact us page and people will be able to flick through home contact us and whatever other pages you want to create then if you go to themes in the top right hand corner, you've got all of these themes that you can edit. Now they're gonna be default themes created by Google. You can go ahead and create your own custom themes and logos here, which is going to appear at the top of your site, custom banner images and so on. You've also got different colors that you can select as well as custom colors. If you have a custom brand and a custom theme, I like to just use Google's default ones though. And you can go ahead and flick through these and change the theme, change the colors to whatever looks good for you. And just by changing it to this level theme, you can see our website looks completely different and it's got a little bit more style and I think it's looking really good. Where is Thailand? You've got your FAQ section, you've got your buy now button and obviously your website is coming together. Now anyone that says you can't build a good looking website in Google Sites doesn't really know what they're doing. They haven't used Google Sites enough. So just play around with this and just put some hours into this and you'll be able to create something pretty decent. Now once you've created your website and you're happy with it, you can go ahead and click on publish in the top right hand corner and that will open up this window where you can choose your domain. So by default, your domain is going to be sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash your web address. Now your web address, you can edit to whatever will be available. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and take this one level further, you can add a custom domain. So if you click on manage, you can connect a custom domain. Now I've made loads of videos telling you how to connect domains from different domain providers. So if you just go ahead and Google how to connect GoDaddy domain or Namecheap domain to Google sites on YouTube, then I'm sure my videos will appear. So go ahead and then click publish once you're happy with it. And then once it's been published, you can either click view here, or if you go to the downwards arrow and click view published site, it will then open it in a new tab. So here is our website, which if you ask me, is looking actually really good. And this is just being created for free with Google Sites. Now there's no Google Sites watermark, nothing like that. You've just got the Google Sites URL here. Again, if you had a custom URL, this will be looking very professional. And yeah, I really do recommend Google Sites. So that's been an overview of Google Sites and how you can use it to make a website. If that was helpful, please do leave a like and comment down below if it was.